Hello there. What's going on, everybody? We are doing an unboxing today of the Star Wars Black Series Kit Fisto lightsaber. This is super exciting because uh, this one I've really been looking forward to checking out. Uh, Kit Fisto himself here featured on the box. This is going to be product uh, or lightsaber number 12 in the series. I'll give you guys a look at the box here. And while I'm doing this, let me let you guys know. We're starting a big new giveaway right now. If you'd like to win a $100 Amazon gift card to put towards a lightsaber of your own, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, this is a really big box here. And uh, you know, if you haven't already checked out some of my other lightsaber unboxings, we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna see how it looks under the lighting open the whole thing up and have some fun with this one, see how it looks next to some other lightsabers. I did pick this up at GameStop. I had it pre-ordered there, but you can also uh, find these at Think Geek or I believe Amazon has them as well, which will be helpful if you win the $100 gift card. Uh, these have certainly gone up in price though. They're almost $100 more than they used to be. I'm really curious to see if the quality really matches the, uh, the cost or if it's just a straight up price increase. So let's open this thing up and take a look. All right, so when we open the box and we pull out these things, we're gonna see a couple of interesting little bits. Like right over here, um, we've got an extra uh, a piece here. I'm not sure what that is, uh, but we've got this too, which looks like a, a belt, uh, a little belt clip, which is actually surprising because the uh, previous rounds of lightsabers did not come with these. So you know, maybe this is something that's gonna help uh, increase you know, the value uh, or justify the cost. But then when we pull, the blade out and we pull off that we get oh we get this beautiful saber here now this one's really um it's a lot of just like uh just a highly polished kind of uh the kind of uh shiny metallic look not as many like darkened bits now these these rings here are uh these are like rubber and they kind of give that good kind of grip feel so you can put get your fingers kind of in there um we do have some little potential uh, yellow LEDs and maybe purple LEDs here. I don't know if those, these are gonna light up or not, but we're gonna see once we uh, put the batteries in. Um, and if we spin the whole thing around, uh, we've got really, makes me wonder where is the switch? And uh, I have no idea where the switch is. This One of these should be the switch. Um, but yeah, usually there's a switch. Um, so that's gonna be fun. I guess I'll have to consult the book. So we'll, then we'll find out where the switch is. And it looks like this is gonna be where we get the uh, batteries in and on. So let's uh, let's fire up the batteries and then we'll take a look. I, I wonder, see, seeing this piece makes me think, is this a cap? Does the blade actually removable here? I don't wanna to jump to conclusions, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. Well, let's read the instructions and then we'll come back uh, with more information on this little saber. All right, so I've got the batteries in. It took three triple A's. And I also consulted the rule book and we have some good, or not the rule book, the instruction manual. Um, and so we do, the blade does apparently come off. So we're gonna show you how to do that in a minute. But since we've got batteries in this thing, I did find the power switch. I do not like it because it's, it, we have to turn it here. There we go. So. So it's really it's it's really tricky because I like you know usually like there's their thumb up thumb down ones when they're kind of easy to activate but this one you're not going to be able to turn on with one hand you're going to have to take a whole other hand over and like find this tiny little knob here and it's actually a little bit loose I don't know if you can see that it's it's a little bit loose okay. but you can get a good good hearing of the sound card here. And this weird sound card, right? You hear me moving it, and it's it's very sensitive, but it interrupts the previous sound effect a lot. So, you know, very sensitive sound card. I'm a little disappointed to see that these lights do not light up. I feel like this was a missed opportunity. You'd been better off just painting them yellow as opposed to, like, you know, translucent. And same thing with these. These should really light up. That's kind of a missed opportunity as well, especially with the 220 something dollar price tag on this. Um, it's a little bit insane. So that was uh, a really nice bit. Um, the blade looks pretty cool. We'll do some full shots of it, and especially with the lights out, because these tend to look really good 
uh, under like 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 for even from here it almost looks like it's really like I'm using special effects and I'm just I'm not right um, all right so I'm gonna turn that off now let's let's do the next part we're gonna try and undo this so I'm gonna I'm gonna unscrew this right here and you can see it's starting to separate which is pretty cool a little squeakiness right there all right so there this is gonna come off and we're gonna set we don't want to lose that and then we have this part right here. Now this is actually very, very similar to the Disney ones, but it is not exactly the same. And now we have our empty hole there. And we can of course then take our little other piece right here, put that in and then screw, let me see. And then we can screw this back on top, um, something like that. Or maybe I have it backwards. Do I have it backwards? I do. There we go. Come on, there we go. Got it. All right. And now we've got our little turned off emitter. Now I wonder what happens. I haven't tried this yet. When I turn this on. Oh, nice. So that's a nice little bonus. Did you hear that? It's like, no. Oh, it's got a different sound effects too. Try and turn it on again. Hmm. So it's got all kinds of little failed uh, failed sound effects here. And, uh, and then of course this way, you can hang it from the belt loop and that's gonna go in right there, no problem. So I'll demonstrate this here shortly and then you can push in to release. Now this is gonna be a little different than, there, there's similar belt loops, I'm curious. Now this is one from the Disney's Galaxy's Edge. Uh, there's a, these are like these, uh, connect on the side and it does actually fit in the Galaxy's Edge belt loop too. It's nice and locked in there. I push in, it comes out. The Galaxy's Edge ones also have a clip for some of the uh, other ones that have a hook like uh, like you're probably familiar with. Okay, so that's uh, that's the belt loop. It's gonna go in there pretty well. Uh, let's take a look at this thing a little bit more in action. One more thing before I show you like the final demo here. When, uh, when putting this in, it's kind of cool because it, it lets you know, there's a, you have to kind of rotate it a certain way before it can go in all the way. And I'm kind of spinning it right now. And there, I think I found it. Wait, there it goes. And there you go. And you hear that? When you get it locked in all the way, it's gonna give you a sound effect. Letting you, there you go, that you got it in. There you go. And that's that's in all the way now. That's pretty cool. All right, here we are, and we're gonna try it on. I think it's a little too sensitive. No, I feel like it's just like just even just moving it around in my hand. It's it's it's, it's just setting up, like it's giving false sound effects. See how it looks maybe with the lights a little bit darker? Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, so now it's a little bit darker and we're gonna try it on now. Like I'm trying not to knock down anything. I got like toys all over the place, right? But uh, yeah, now for comparison, I've got Obi-Wan's uh, right here. And this one's, I mean, it's a fresher battery in this one, so it's a little brighter, but it's a really, really bright green. Really, really bright. And, and see, here I am banging stuff together. So you can see they uh, they look good together. Too bad Kit Fisto never, never used Obi-Wan's. But another thing that's really interesting is you can really tell the difference with the sound. This is just, it's going crazy, I'm just holding it. It's, it's a way hyperactive uh, sound sensor here. Interesting. Well, we gotta do the Kid Fisto smile. I don't know, I can't really do it. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, basically our, our look at the uh, at, at the Sabre, and um, you know, there's one more thing we wanna look at, and that's um, the stand. Uh, it, it comes with the, the, the basically the bad stand. Like, these are really, really bad. Um, what I usually do is I kinda set them up kinda like this. Um, I, I have a whole bunch of them set up like in this kind of formation. Uh, I'll show you guys here. Let's take a look. So, yeah, you know, I've got Ahsoka's over here. I've got Mace, uh, Luke, uh, Obi-Wan, Double Maul. 
with this type of setup and then some extra blades from uh, Disney and then a Yoda picture that my lovely wife made yeah so that's uh, that's basically it with the with the lightsaber and uh, it's look it's Kit Fisto he's a beloved character he's pretty awesome you're getting the saber uh, you're getting a removable blade which is pretty cool um, granted, you can't really do a whole lot with the blade and other sabers, because I believe this is the first one that removes like that. Uh, maybe the Kylo Ren one. I never got the, the deluxe Kylo Ren one. I got the basic one. And you got the cap that goes in there, and then you've got the belt holster. So that's, that is pretty cool. The problem is, if you're trying to wear it on, on your belt, you still need to carry around the saber. Right? Because at some point, you're probably going to want to connect it. Unless, of course, you just don't want to connect it. Unless you're going, like, full-blown Grievous, and you just want uh, them, like, in your cloak as part of your collection. But uh, yeah, but Kit Fisto, Star Wars Black Series Saber, here it is. All right, I, all in all, it's designed pretty well. Um, I mean, it's, you know, but I just wish these things lit up and uh, I wish the, the, the knob was a push instead of a turn, but uh, that's not that big a deal. My main criticism is just this. Like, I'm barely gonna touch it. So just moving it around in your hand. Like light movements like seem to just set it off like crazy. Normally it's supposed to be big movements like that, you know, and it's a big difference if you compare it to a, like one of the previous Black Series Sabres. Big difference there. But uh, hey, if you like Star Wars stuff, this is the right channel for you. I, uh, hopefully you will subscribe and check out some more of my videos. I'll put some links over here. And if you want to support the channel, there's some really cool uh, gator necks, face masks, uh, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff down below. So check the Teespring store there. Uh, hopefully there's something that you like. All right, I will talk to you guys later. We got more cool Star Wars collectibles coming soon. So stay tuned. I will talk to you guys later. And as always, have a great day.